Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm more than a little excited to bring you a documentary series sponsored in part by Todd Standing and an incredible, amazing new celebrity PhD that heard Mr. Todd Standing say, don't take my word for it. Come out with me and I'll show you a Sasquatch. So this amazing, incredible man, an American icon hero, a man who grew up after his father was missing in action, lost in Vietnam, grew up raised by his mother, and through immense of adversity, became this incredible medical doctor, medical surgeon, hero. And now is this famous gentleman, PhD, that is a, a very proud American. I'm honored and privileged to have taken him out on an expedition and had the immense success. I'll tell you guys, when Jeff Meldrum comes out, when John Mendernagel, when these PhDs come out, when Survivor Man comes out, the pressure comes on. And wow, do we succeed. I took this gentleman out with another famous celebrity and had the most incredible, immense success you're going to enjoy with me right now in, I don't know, four-part series because the footage, I'm just going through this. And this is literally, we have to say too, so I'm putting this documentary together. He's basically... More than three quarters of this footage is his, and he brought himself his own wilderness expert that just just turned this expedition to another level. Stuff that's never happened to me before, success I've never seen before happens in this three or four part series. I'm not really sure how much is going to precipitate. So, and what I want to start with today. So, very excited. I'm going to introduce you to the first celebrity, which is the doctor, the PhD, the surgeon, the famous American hero, the man who saved lives, countless lives, and. And today is a powerful icon in, in the community that he, that he works within. Um, he's going to be a big focus today. But what we're going to do to start is something I've never done before is I need to give you a lay of the land. Because when there's a Sasquatch within 20 yards, when there's tree breaks happening, when apples are getting taken, when rocks are being moved, all by Sasquatch, one of the, one of the most paradigm issues people have, obviously, is there's some guy out there. So we're going to drive you out there. So the PhD, the doctor himself, who I will show you and reveal in just a few minutes. First, like as soon as we drove out there, we spent the day getting ready, getting all our preparation, getting our gear, buying our food. So we come driving out in the dark and have this incredible little journey in. And then we get aerial views. So I want you to become, for the first time ever, I'm going to get you extremely familiar with the area, with the lay of the land. So, you know, apples were taken here, rocks were moved there. A Sasquatch was interacting with us here. I want you to understand, basically, after, like, in this area that we're in, there's there's not even no people. Literally, if you go north, the next thing you're going to see is Alaska. Like, there's nothing. We are literally in Canada. Go north, I dare you. Because you're going to, about every 200 miles, you might cross a dirt road or a, or a little highway. And you're just going to hit Alaska, polar bears, and Santa Claus. I don't know what to tell you. So that's how remote this region is. That's why you need to get it into your head that when we hear a, a call, when apples are taken, when stones are moved, when some man-like being is out there, it's not people. It's remote. There's no sound. You're never going to hear uh, people walking around, cars driving by. We're in the hella middle of nowhere. So that's what we're going to focus on this video. Introduce you to this incredible PhD, lay the groundwork for this amazing expedition, this brilliant place I take people to that has precipitated literally over a dozen eyewitness sightings, over 50 trackways, 50 live interactions. The most incredible evidence has been precipitated. My greatest videos, video four, five, six, seven, and eight, all came from here. So, all those amazing, the best videos I've ever filmed have all come. From this incredible research area and for the first time with aerials and the drive-in and the dark we're going to introduce you to the area introduce you to this new phd and start this documentary series that's going to blow your mind the most amazing incredible success happens here i've stuff i've never seen happen before we literally play marco polo with a sasquatch multiple sasquatch around us moving us around leading us and dozens of other things happen so stay tuned Let's get into it. Let's have some fun. This is going to be amazing. Thanks for tuning in.
That was a real Sasquatch. What you just saw was a Sasquatch that lived, at least lived, I don't believe he lives anymore in this area, but you just saw a Sasquatch, just so you know. That little real Sasquatch, that's a real Sasquatch. That's why the amazing Dr. Garth Fisher, who is a world-renowned, famous plastic surgeon now, started out, uh, built his own way up, became a, a, an incredible surgeon, was an ER surgeon, and then worked his way up with his incredible skill set and knowledge and abilities to become uh, one of the most, if not the most, famous plastic surgeon in the whole world. He's a celebrity, California plastic surgeon. And when you saw, just I, I mentioned that video a second ago because this man is an expert when it comes to a special, obviously, as a plastic surgeon, the anatomy and the specifics of faces. He saw that video that you just saw. He saw multiple videos that you just saw. And he said, you know what? I think there's something to this Todd Standing guy. I'm going to come out. I'm going to have a look because, man, the layers of expertise. I mean, the, the man is brilliant. He's got a PhD. He's a, he's a surgeon, incredible, intelligent man, brought himself a wilderness expert that I'm not allowed to talk about. You'll see him from time to time. I'll call him the general. I'll call him Michael. But uh, this incredible wilderness expert from Georgia had the most incredible, success, amazing success. And then the other celebrity we're going to talk about in the next video from next week. But, uh, yeah, dark, Dr. Garth Fisher, uh, amazing guy. Uh, he's on Instagram. Uh, he's been on TV shows. He's worked with celebrities uh, back and forth like crazy. And after spending seven days and seven nights in the backcountry wilderness with this man, uh, I, we just clicked, and uh, I, I have nothing but respect for him. I thoroughly enjoyed working with him. You're going to hear all his perspectives and all his uh, experiences. And, man, he literally walked around with cameras. That was a big thing for him is he's got cameras on him, cameras filming, cameras on his colleagues, and he was able to capture absolutely astonishing stuff that you're going to see in this three- or four-part documentary series. So... Let's start this off. So now you know it's Dr. Garth Fisher. You can look him up. He's been tagging me on Instagram. Um, and uh, he's got a, also a, a very famous uh, wife that he recently became engaged to. So uh, you can look him up there. But this is our, our, our drive-in, our late-night drive-in to, uh, to the expedition area. This is Sasquatch Holy Ground. Again, dozens of sightings have happened here, right? Probably 100 trackways have been found. Hundreds of Sasquatch tree breaks substantiated, live interaction substantiated with tracks and tree breaks and structures and apples taken and, and sightings and it just goes on and on and on. All the incredible successes we've had out here. People just, uh, this discovery is moving forward at such a fantastic rate and I'm so excited about it. So let's let's do this. I think it looks such a bad one. Okay, that's just uh, that's natural. How do you tell dirt between the natural ones? Well, I'll show you. In two days, they're gonna be like, there's no way I, you'll recognize it 100%. You'll be a tree break expert. So I'll show you. Push those good trees. log they left before. They left a good log there. Yeah. So we're almost there now. So this is a trail horse people come down once in a while, still, I guess. But nobody goes this way. So that's the, this is the horse trail kind of. Then we're gonna go past a brand new amazing tree break uh, down here. Unless there's a new one. It could be a brand new one, I don't know. It's hard to tell in the day. Where do they break, break the tree branches one. for? Uh, they break them as a, an indicator, a sign. Of Is it giving. north, south, east, west, directional, or what? It's towards the trail saying this trail's okay for you to have. You can come on this trail. There's a tree break right there. See that one? Yeah. Pointed right at the trail. That one's from just this year. It was done for Ross, the expedition I took out from, from California. They did it for him. There's another tree break right there from Sasquatch. My trailer is about uh, three quarters of a mile from here. Tree breaks? Yep. That, those are done for me. I was walking down this road and I heard those snaps. I came back and saw tracks. So, so why, why were they doing them for you? Uh, just 
a turn indicator. Warnings. No, no, just saying, hey, you're here. Hey, it's acceptable. Hey, we're okay with you being down that trail. And uh, and and through time, it it forever says in this year, like five years ago, Todd Stanley walked down this trail, and I said it was okay. When I was when I was uh, you know 12 years old, and I was this because even it's an indicator of the Sasquatch too, how big the tree break is, how thick it is. Is also an indicator of the individual. Yeah, how strong they are. There's such a story behind it that's uh, very significant. So my trailer's right over here on the left. We just went past it. It's gonna be hard for you to back up and all that shit right now. Oh, there's no backing up. It's just turn the daytime. No, no, no. I'm gonna drive right up beside it because this road circles around like this, and you're gonna see tree breaks like that shit crazy now. So the Sasquatch usually come to me through here. Uh huh. So there's all kinds of tree breaks over there. I'm just gonna go really slow here. There's bumpy and rocks. So I've been here before. I wasn't. I wasn't hoaxing you. <laughs> well, no, I saw the trailer, so I know. Let's have a look. Make sure nothing. Oh, it looks all like nothing touches that trailer, man. Holy <laughs> shit! Nothing touches it. Is it safe to get out? Nope. Not yet. Okay. Maybe you should put your lights on somewhere. They'll keep their lights on. They will. So I'm going to leave the vehicle running. And what do you want me to do? I want you to wait here, please. Okay. For those of you that have been watching my videos of this particular region for well over a year, two years now, in this specific spot I've been at for five years, I'm going to give you for the first time ever a full aerial view, 360 degrees of the mountains and the Sasquatch and the sightings, all right here. This is literally, remember the spot where I've filmed my videos, where I've had such incredible success. Let's go through it and have an aerial view beautiful view in great detail right now we start with you can see on the bottom of the screen where there's my camper the truck the trailer we're going to pan around here this is where our apples get taken and i'm going to zoom up you can see off in the distance there's the uh the river and then we're coming up on an area so this is all this forest was logged about 40 years ago up through this area you can see a bit of logging that had happened this is north down from where the sasquatch comes so they come through the corridor in those mountains and as we pan further over to the right, we get back, you can see a logged section, a recently logged section. And that's the dirt road that we come in off of that we, we don't go anywhere near. That's about six miles from base camp. Now we're getting to the south. You can see, not really, but you can see how dense the forest is. Like, this is the area in which all these interactions are happening. So the road is literally, as we pan, so this is, the apples get taken here. We, pay, we play Marco Polo back here, but really off far in the distance, like, 15 miles away there's the road and again as we come panning back here we'll get a little lower you can see the dense foliage this first mountain that's coming center right now just to the right of it this is the sasquatch corridor that they come through either from the left of that mountain or the right of that mountain and and they come down and encircle us here which we pan down over and you'll start to see the outer loop as i call it and the trees are so dense around it's hard to see but as we pan over this way there's the road there's the outer loop, as I call it. And you see as that road turns to the inner loop, the porcupine trail. So the trail to the left is the abandoned road we come in that hasn't been used in 10 years. The road to the right is the porcupine trail that's been abandoned for 30 years. There's my truck and trailer that I drove in. You saw me driving in with and the trailer that I'm alongside. And we've had significant in this area, all around through there, tight around this trailer, within a mile, there are literally hundreds of tree breaks, uh, over 50 sets of tracks we found. There's the porcupine trail. See that thin little line? And as this pans up, I want you guys to see this because we walked the porcupine trail and there's dozens of breaks there. See that now you can see the porcupine trail as it goes south and see that small open area off in the distance. So, and all through here on the right hand side is where we get so much significant tracks and sightings and apples taken, sounds, callbacks, yells. Of, and of course, don't forget not just live interactions that are substantiated with evidence, but eyewitness accountings. Look at how vast this area is. And there, I have not seen a person in this area, no signs of people in over 30 years, all through this whole area. Down through this area, you, I mean, you can see the trees. They're 30 plus years old, most of them in the 40s area. And through this area, see there's mountains and trees and nothing else. That's where you'll see in the videos to come where we walk out and play Marco Polo, the Sasquatch, lead us out into that area. 
There are no people in these areas, ladies and gentlemen. There you can see the Porcupine Trail as it begins and back to base camp. That's our intro to what's about to happen over the next coming weeks. Next week for sure, I'll introduce the other famous human being and we'll get right into the meat of all the incredible immense success we had on this amazing expedition. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week for the follow-up. Till then, take care. Bye for now.